Hello, guys. Hatred Elemental back once again with Draco Sodas here. Hello, everyone! And I, th I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently. We are going to be playing the Make a Good Mega Man level contest number two. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hatred, you didn't do the first game. Well, this came out just today or yesterday, I don't know. And I don't want to be that person who gets to something way after it's cool. So, let's just get right into this. I will be playing the first one later. This is awesome! Game start. Bye, oh. B! Hello! Start! Whee! Twee! <laughs> Mega Man, finally! You're back! I was wondering how long you'd be on that walk with <laughs> Rush. <laughs> okay. Was I really out for that long? Not any longer than usual, I hope. Well, it probably felt longer because I'm just so excited! Mega Man, the new festival has officially begun! Happy 30th, Mega Man! Wait, there's another festival? Oh, I guess that explains why those tents were being set up then. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't heard or seen! This time will be fantastic, though! The festival this time is specifically celebrating the 30th anniversary of your first victory against Dr. Wily! This time they've, they're actually making it a festival! And it's much bigger than the first one! And all this with no sight of Wily. That probably won't last for very long, but might as well enjoy this while it lasts. So, what does this festival have to offer? <laughs> the whole city has been decorated and set up for a giant festival celebrating robotics and technology! The main show, from what I've heard, is new virtual simulations that real objects can interact with. Tons of people have made their own simulations, all as tributes to your efforts, Mega Man! I even heard that there's a beta simulation that can read directly from memories. Wait, what do you mean, tributes to my efforts? What are the simulations like? Tributes as in stages, just like your various adventures! Some even made their own robot maps! Yay! Woo! So this is a festival full of virtual death traps? Well, think of it as training! And you can't die in them anyways, you can try as many times as you like! Tons of people and robot masters from all over the world have gathered here, and it will truly be grand! The festival organizers have organized all the submitted simulations into tiers based on quality. At the end of each simulation, there's an energy element, just like the areas from the last festival. What's more notable is that as a proof of concept, you can bring the elements into the real world. If you, get, if you can get enough elements, I could possibly use them to power a peacekeeping robot or the like, just like Gamma! Oh, that didn't turn out well the first time! Why? Gamma didn't work once! It's, it's not, not gonna, gonna work, work twice. twice! Sounds cool to me! Hopefully Wily will stay out of this, but if he doesn't, I'll take care of it. Considering last time, I doubt he'll try anything spectacular either way. The festival's right outside my lab, on the far right end! Watch out for tourists, by the way! <laughs> I've already had to clean up my lab quite a bit to make things less confusing for them. Have fun, Mega Man! Thanks! We can- Woo! We have, okay, we have the Hornet Chaser, the Super Arrow, the Jewel Satellite, the, uh, what is that? I don't know. Oh! The Triple Blade! The Flash Stopper, I think, Slash Claw, Wheel Cutter, Soccer Guard! Rush Coil, Rush Jet, and the And the wire. Hook! The Wire! Woo! Alright. I was not expecting Sakugarn. Neither was I. I'm gonna customize my controls a little bit, uh, just for a second. Uh, see you guys in a moment. Alright, well, never mind. It'll be fine. What is this? Infobox 1987. <laughs> Welcome to Make a Good Mega Man Level Contest 2. Duh. Welcome to Make a Good Mega Man Level Contest 2. This time around, the size of the contest quadrupled. Here's a rundown on how this works. Each level was judged by five judges based on a score rubric. Out of 50 points, each level is ranked based on its average. 15 points in design, 10 points in fun, 15 points in creativity, and 5 points each to aesthetics and functionality. Every stage was also given a comment by each judge. In the end, all the scores were averaged and compiled for the results. The five judges in order are Snowrunt Pyro, Jupy Hornet, NG, Gariri, and Ace Spark. You can read each comment on a monitor like the one next to the sign. Read that monitor to learn more about the judges themselves. 
Each level is placed according to their total score. Tier 1 contains the last place level, and Tier 10 has the winner. Ten tiers? Oh, jeez. Complete each level and get all the collectibles and get a bunch of other bonus content besides the levels. However, some levels were deemed too unreasonable to normally complete and have been made skippable via green teleporters. Okay. Certain levels were also design designated if the judge least favorite or favorite, so be on the lookout for those. Enjoy! Snowrunt Pyro Hi! I'm Snowrunt Pyro, also known as Pyro, and I'm the one responsible for this game and its predecessor. For those that don't know, the concept of Make a Good Mega Man level was basically ripped off from the Make a Good level contests, which are... Uh... Which are based around Mario engines, Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. X, mainly. I'm super happy that my dumb little idea was able to get so huge with 81 submissions and so much more beyond it. But enough about the contest itself and more about me as a judge, because that's what this monitor is supposed to say. The levels I love the most are the ones that either take an existing idea and run, create and run with it in crazy new ways, or come up with some new, really cool concepts and do tons of things with it. I'd say I'm all about creativity, honestly. If you make a mega me if you make a level that has nothing but mats, sniper joes, and shield attackers, don't be expecting any high praise with me. Have variety and do something cool and creative. I don't like playing rompy levels very much, and even really badly designed levels with a cool idea I can still have some appreciation for. I also am not an artist, like, at all. If your level is made entirely of a glitched graphic looped o over as every single tile, I probably wouldn't care. If the gameplay is great, I couldn't care less about the visuals. This is why I am insanely generous with aesthetic scores, lol. I don't have an eye for eye-searing palettes or cutoff or anything like some other people do, so any graphical errors will fly over my head. I'd at least like to think that I can definitely appreciate some great visuals, but sometimes I tend to forget about them. Because of this, if I play a level where its main draw is some kind of spectacular visuals or something, I'm going to leave the level thoroughly unimpressed. TLDR. If a level has a new or cool idea, you'll have me reeled in, and then do some great design with it, I, and I'll love it, part. I try to look for the best in every level, and as such, I end up as the insanely nice judge again, just like the last contest. Though, the times where I scored a level the lowest also amused me. This contest was super fun to judge, though, and I hope you as a player can enjoy it. Hey, I'm Jupy Hornet. I've been playing Mega Man games since 2010. I'm also a moderator on smbx.org and a co-owner of the Geometry Dash forums. But who cares about that stuff? Ugh. Here's the thing about me. If you give me one level that's absolutely horrible, and another level that has a ton of potential but fails in execution, I would dislike the second level more. I'd rather be able to chuckle at a terrible level than be disappointed in one with a lot of promise and bad execution. That all being said, Flashy gimmicks and custom assets alone won't earn your level a high score. The most important things are design and fun factor. To me, it doesn't matter that it doesn't matter that how much that it doesn't matter that how original your stage is. That much how your it doesn't matter that much how original your stage is or how good it looks. If it's badly designed and not fun, chances are it won't get a high score from me. Hey there, hey there, I'm Angie. If you haven't heard my name before, it's because I don't frequent Sprite's Inc. At all. Really. I'm a nerd who's been studying game design for a year, heard of the contest through Pyro, and has a ton of fun judging levels. And that's how I happened. Yeah, man, that's nice and all, but what's your gimmick? Maybe your possible reaction. I aim to bring feedback to the table that not just analyzes the levels themselves, but also helps improve levels outside the contest. Outside the closed realm of this contest. In competitions like this, people can learn from each other's levels and gain some sweet experience. To support that, my comments aim to encourage by focusing on how levels can be improved and how their greatest shortcomings can be sorted out. What I'm looking for in levels is clever implementation of creative ideas, but don't expect to see me going hardcore focus mode on that creativity aspect. What I kinda did focus on for many levels in this contest is how levels execute common design concepts such as teaching and combining of mechanics and creating mutations of previously used setups. Naturally, though, these technicalities aren't everything, because even a level that perfectly follows four-step design can manage to fall flat in its enjoyability. To summon that mess of a paragraph, to summarize that mess of a paragraph, I like creative stuff. I think proper implementation of game design techniques is important, and I believe that levels should be first and foremost uh, levels should first and foremost aim to be enjoyable to play. 
quite a mouthful, I agree, but this is such a broad subject that I could write an entire paper on it. Overall, I had a blast judging this thing. There are some incredible levels up in the higher ranks that I think are must-plays if you want to have a good time, and they are insanely replayable as well. And even many of the less memorable levels show great potential. I hope you'll have as much fun as I did playing through what this contest has to offer. Hello. I've been known as Gary, <laughs> uh, Gareri on the internet for the past 10 years. I've played many different games since that time. I have, I've been making games from an early age, and I have been a huge Mega Man fan since late 2014. This has helped me learn various aspects of game making, including level design. I've used this knowledge to, contrib to contribute to this game in the form of judging all levels submitted for, for the contest, and in the form of creating a few of my own levels to be played, with hopes that my comments will be helpful for the improvement of one's future level design, and that, and that the stages I have made will be enjoyed to play through and to learn from. While judging, I considered that, without a doubt, the most important factor of a good level is how enjoyable it is to play. Frustrating and boring are the worst qualities your level could inherit, and for your level to receive a high score, it is required that it, it, it is required that it is fun, exciting, attractive, and creative. Watch your folks, Ace Spark here, owner of Sprite Saint, confirmed furry, possibly British, and most important to this, a massive Mega Man fan. Pretty much played and completed the majority of the series, and most of them too, so on an official front, I have a pretty keen idea on what I'm looking for out of a Mega Man stage. I've also created several fan games at this point, which have mostly been well received, so I know the effort it takes to build a Mega Man stage, and have a greater appreciation for those who would enter something like this. The key thing in building a Mega Man level is to listen to your audience, as 9 times out of 10 they'll spot things you would never have thought of and an outsider can tell you where you've tripped up in design. Today, I'm one of those outsiders. This was interesting to judge. Under normal circumstances, I judge fan games by the sum of their parts, which has led me to enjoy games even with fairly glaring flaws in the past. Overall, I think everything going into Magma 2 makes this one of the best fan games ever made. However, since I'm only judging the parts here, I found I've ended up far more critical than I would otherwise be. But that doesn't mean I'll only tell you where you went wrong. I feel people deserve to know what they did right, so expect some fairly lengthy comments from myself. JOY! What I'm looking for is either a level that feels like it came out of a Capcom game, or a level that is so out there in idea and concept, yet has the quality level to come out of a Capcom game. And if you exceeded the quality of the official staff, well, expect some high praise indeed. I also really, really dig a good boss fight. While their absence won't drag a level down, the inclusion of a good one will certainly boost the level up. Of course, don't make me expect a boss fight that never happens. I despise anticlimaxes. I apologize in advance for the walls of text. Cool! That's that. Oh yeah, we have the charge shot. Hi, Tango! Oh yeah, Tango! Cats are better than dogs. Uh, I actually disagree. But I'm not saying that cats are bad. Hi, Catman! Man, Dr. White is such a liar! He just lazily dumped all the boxes with stuff from the last festival in the middle of the hall. It really cuts my gears. Wait. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> what's with those ladders up there? Also, what's down here? Reggae! That's reggae? Yeah! Select upgrades after buying! Select upgrades after buying! Disable them! Disable them! I'll disable the rest! I'll disable the rest! Uh, okay. okay. Ice Man! If you're curious, the shop is just to your left. Eddie hasn't really changed much compared to the last festival. <laughs> Mega Man, welcome back! Light found me out, but he let me stay here. My wares have changed since last fe festival. E-Tank, a, a one-time use item that restores your whole health bar in one fell swoop! Use it in the pause screen. M-Tank, a rare variation of the E-Tank that recovers not only all health, but all weapon energy. You can only own one at a time. Charged Buster Upgrade. Makes charge shots larger and more powerful. Drop Rate Upgrade. Increases the chances that enemies will drop items. Uncharged Buster Upgrade. Removes the three-shot limit for the Mega Buster, allowing you to have as many on the screen as you can fire! Cool! <laughs> Skull Amulet. If you are dealt a fatal blow by an enemy while having more than one health, you will be left with one health instead of dying. That could really save my bacon. Mets Helmet! Knockback is drastically reduced and hit invincibility is slightly extended. Converter. At full health, 
Health drops are replaced by ammo, and at full ammo, ammo drops are replaced by health. Bolts drop when full on both. Fun. Come back soon! Okay. Oh my god, this is amazing! Let's explore here! Fireman! Don't worry, Mega Man! If any evildoers pass by, the Flames of Justice will take care of it! <laughs> the Center of Modern Robotics. Light Labs, the Center of Modern Robotics. No, I want to leave! Go away! Oh my god, there's an actual hub world! Otto! Mega Man, I'm so glad you're finally here! I'm here to welcome any visitors to the festival. It's just up ahead. I recommend visiting Tier 1. Their memory simulations are great! Tier 1... I see you, Metal Man! I'm running one of those booths where you break glass bottles. I'm still waiting on the shipment for bottles, though. Aww. The festival has barely started, but I'm still pleased with who's here. Perhaps, Mega Man, more people will start coming. Maybe waste time by getting some energy elements? Let's see, Tier 1... Tier... Two, I think. Oh, two. Costume shop! Concrete man! Hey! Uh, must be an invisible cloak! <laughs> Somebody knocked this pole over! What a rascal! Though perhaps it was the wind. There's nothing on this pole. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> Otto probably put this Met helmet here. Kalinka! Girl's costume shop is so cool! I can live my wildest dreams! Uh, sure! <laughs> I think we want to go over to Tier 1, don't we? I... yeah. Ah, Mega Man! I see you've heard about our memory simulations. Just enter it with a teleporter. It's, uh, beta, though, so there may be some bugs. Boop. What? Uh... Snowman! I wanna be a snowman! Look at that thing up there! I know! What is going on here? <laughs> Wait, are those... What, what's that below me? I don't know! That, I recognize that mini-boss! That's a mini-boss? I think it was from Mega Man 8 or something? No, I don't know, but... Oh, man! It's not CC roll, is it? I don't know. Alright. Yeah, idiot. Let's get into this. This is a long episode. Oh, jeez. What the heck is this? Okay, so this is one that was deemed unfit to finish. Info box 9000. This is my first level. I hope I win, but if not win, it's better than nothing. Okay, um... Huh? What the heck is this? Ah! I'm gonna give it my best shot, okay? This is madness! No, I do not want that. Alright. Okay. Magnet bots. Chaser. Hornet Chaser could probably take out the magnet bots. Hornet! Not the bees! Master, this is 
is not how you design a level. This is a mess. Whoa, whoa, what the? I don't know what this weapon is or where it's from, but that's kind of cool. Thing I can think of. Still willing to give it your best shot? Yeah. Less a level, more so a collection of ideas. The main thing that sets it back in its current state is the lack of organization and testing. The level is littered with collision errors and enemies that can easily ambush the player. The ideas themselves, while not the most innovative, would easily find a good place in the level that was constructed more thoroughly, though. Was this level submitted a was this level submitted as a joke? The placement of all enemies, obstacles, and solid blocks are placed at complete random, and most of the latter are fake or invisible. It is extremely glitchy, to the point that I can't figure out a way to finish the level without breaking it using weapons. With the exception of breaking this level, there is nothing enjoyable about it. It's irritating, the level design is absolute crap, the graphics are crap, and the level is barely functional. Somebody please wake me up from this nightmare! <laughs> This is my first level! I'm a natural! If you'll notice if you notice the subtle weaving of the tile set and how delicate each invisible block is placed, Judge? Judge? I think he liked it! First place, here we come! <laughs> no! Nobody liked that! I oh, know. <sighs> Coin Master, all due respect, that was awful. <sighs> 79th, Rupe Card Cardinal Cardinal Man. Okay. Uh, score is right. 5.2, 5.2, 12, 12, 5, 4, 1, 4. Alright, let's try this out. Uh, okay. What is this? Alright, it's another skip level. What? Fully understand what? Thank you. Hey, fish. I do not understand boulders. What? Okay. Oh god, I forget that there is no momentum. Dang it. What madness is this? Uh, I'm so- uh, The button layout is so different from what I get used to. Alright. Can I not grab that? Oh. 
Oh man, what? I'm afraid I just simply don't understand. Okay, thank god. Carry, carry! Tellies? That little dude? Don't even use my life right now! God, what are you doing out there? What do we do? This is a lap. No, this is a broken stage. Alright, well... They fixed, they fixed the rush jet here. Yeah, those are death spikes. Oh! Alright. How many tries until look, we consider... Because this is a bad level. I don't know. I want to give them my best shot, you know? Wait, this is a ladder. Huh? Are you serious? Huh? Wait, what? there are three! What? How many were in this one? J just one, just one. There are three in here! Oh, hey, you can grind the E and M tanks this way. <laughs> oh, man. I'm afraid I just simply do not understand. Alright, those... The crystals are ladders. Gotta remember that, way. Crystals are ladders. Take out the fan thing. And, and the croaker as well, don't get the croaker. Hey! Bad froggy! Jet. Go up immediately. Big fish, what in? Okay. What are you? A custom mech. Bunby Hellies. Oh, powered up assets. Mega Man 8 assets. Alright. Okay. Colin! Colin Sakugan! Oh, it's actually useful! This is not how you design a Mega Man level! Alright, that's two! Let's do this again, then! I will say, though, I am actually having fun with this level. It's not necessarily a good level, but I'm having fun, and that's what matters. Alright. Oh, joy! Use this. Yeah, 
Is it just like a leap of faith type thing? Huh? Hey, Nate, I'm the... Whoa, what are you doing? Hey, tackle fires? Bomb bombs? Where are you guys coming from? Okay, no. Because I'm tanks. What are you? Dang! Dang! Let's go, 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 let Chillman refuses to touch the energy element. Man before, so this is not going well. I did get Mega Man 10 the other day, though, so. I uh, haven't played it yet because I haven't finished Mega Man 9, but thank god there's at least a checkpoint. Okay. No, let's save that. Let's walk on the glasses. Oh, you do not like dual satellite. Okay. Please, doggo. What do we do? Can we walk on those? Okay. Ugh. All right. Anyone have any ideas? Soccer guard. Hey. God! I'm so glad that's over. But we did it! Ah, oh, we did it without skipping. That's that's good. The level speaks for itself, really. It's a mess. It's also complete it also completely baffles me that even with the auto tiler, there still manages to be a level with random fake tiles. Huh? It's called Cardinal Man, but where are the Cardinals? Thinking. This was fun until I figured out you can actually reach any of the exits. No. This is mine! Oh, that's a sign of a bad level. Okay. Uh. But, yeah, with that, um... This is Hatred Elemental and Draco, so does your sunning out. This is a longer video, 
But hey, this deserves longer videos, you know? So, uh, yeah. Uh, next time we are going after. Quirky, un un inconsi quirky, inconsistent, incomprehensible, nonsensical track. That sounds bad. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Uh, goodbye, I guess.